Hi everyone, this is Liz Majestic with Yokogawa. I'm an application engineer for the pressure and temperature group. Um, I do pre-sales. I've been with the company for about two and a half years. Um, we're going to go over our global product portal where it allows you to do 3D CAD and configurations. Um, it also allows for an in, it allows for you not to make an invalid model selection, which is a key um, for customers and reps, of course, to make it so then you're not um, picking wrong model codes. So um, I'm going to get started with a PowerPoint, and then I'm going to go into a live demonstration. So. If, uh, oh, and also if anyone has any technical issues with um, seeing the PowerPoint or with um, hearing my voice, just send in a, um, a chat and uh, Christina is with us and she'll be able to um, answer and help with any technical issues. So we can go ahead and get started. So thank you for joining in. Okay. So the PowerPoint's going to go over some an introduction of why we set up the global product portal, um, what kind of the phases that we're doing right now, uh, the products that it's going to be covering. Uh, we're also going to do the new member registration, which I'm going to show you and I'm going to tell you a little bit of, about why you would want to do a new member registration. And then, of course, I'm going to do the live demonstration on computer. So we did the customer product portal to improve tools for our customers. Um, it's very efficient and flexible. Um, so the key thing that we had was a lot of customers wanted to get 3D CADs prior to a project so then they can see how it um, works into their system. And it's, you know, and they wanted it to do it on their own per se. They wanted to go on, they wanted to go on a site and they wanted to be able to download a 3D CAD and whether it be it be for SOLIDWORKS, for Inventor, for AutoCAD, or you know, just for any kind of um, CAD software, so they can put it in their system and see if it would work with their system. And it also allows it so then they can build like a virtual skid and see if it would work in their system. So it's mainly just for this this product portal was mainly for making it efficient to get. Um, a better customer service. So, in a sense, we always wanted to, we always want to promote customer service. Um, so, and it also provides good capabilities. Um, whether it be, it does 3D CAD, it does a 2D non-certified drawing, so kind of like a scrub drawing, and then it also does product description, and um, it allows it for you not to make an invalid description, or I mean, sorry, an invalid selection. So, the phases that we are going on right now have phase one, which is pressure and temperature. Phase two is rotomass. Phase three is the full configuration of pressure and temperature, and then you have phase four and phase five, which phase four is the magnetors and then dy, and then you have the phase five full configuration. The reason why we broke up the um, pressure and the flow was mainly because we wanted to get the general um, dimensions of the transmitter and the flow meters out onto the site. Right now, we do not have the flow meters on the site. We only have the pressure and temperature, but we are working on the AGMAGs and the DYs to get them up. Um, we hope to have them up by the end of fiscal year 2016, but if not, we are shooting for fiscal year of 2017. Um, so we are pushing to get the flow products up, and um, so it, it would be a fully functional site for FIBU. Um, so right now we are in phase four. We have phase one and phase three on the site. So we are working for, on phase four, um, and then we're going to go to phase five, and then last but not least, we'll go to phase two. Phase two got skipped because there is a new road to math coming out, so that is why I got skipped. Um, so we'll move on to the products. As I was saying, we have the EJAE, the EJX, 
A are on there. Then we have the temperatures, and we have the coils, the dy, and the um, vortex. Now, um, the EJAA is not going to be on the site. You will not find it. If you need um, a 3D CAD of that, please make a technical CRM case, and we will work with you to get a um, 3D CAD of the EJAA. Um, so right now we only have EJAE and EJXA on the site. We have YTA 110, 310, and 320. Um, then we have the RONAMAS, the AXR, which we will have the AX, we are working to get the AXF and the AXW on the site also. So it's not just the AXR that's going to be on there, it's going to be all the AGMAX. And then we have the DY. And these are what the products look like. Okay. Now for first time users, I just want to let you know that um, the site will only work for Internet Explorer 11 users. Um, it also will work on Google Chrome. It should work on Firefox. Um, but as of right now, we only know of the um, Internet Explorer 10 or 9, I think it is, it won't work with it. So you have to have Internet Explorer 11 or above. Um, so what's really good is to register for the site. The site allows you to, it allows you to maintain having a history. It allows you to um, look up different other, there's other things on the site, um, which I won't be going over today, but getting a new member registration is wonderful because then you don't have to constantly keep logging. You can log in and it keeps your data. Like you don't have to keep, you know, having to refresh or redo stuff um, constantly. So um, we'll go over the new member registration on slides 8 through 10. Then we'll do um, non-first time users. You click them. So basically I'll go through it. So you click the member login and sign in. The easiest way to get to the portal is I'll show all of this on the live demonstration. So we'll go ahead and skip that. Um, so what you'll do is you, you click that you need a new member registration. You're going to put your email in. It will send you an email. Within that email, you'll have a link. Click on the link and um, it will take you to this next site. You will fill out this form and you will submit it. Um, then you will um, press it and you want confirmation and you'll get another email and that you have officially registered for the site. And then you'll just, when you go back, you'll log back in to the site. Um, to my knowledge, it does not automatically log you in when you do the new member registration. You have to back, go back and log in. So um, we'll go ahead and go through the live demonstration. So let me. So um, you will go to the YCA um, page, the Yosegawa YCA page, which is the URLs right here. The fastest way to go to this site, I'm going to show you two different ways. Um, it just depends on which page you are on. The fastest way to do it is to go to support and hit customer portal. The other way to do it is to go to products, go to field instruments, click on field instruments. This is a long way. This one's not the fastest way. So I would definitely recommend the other way, but this is one way to go to it. You're going to do pressure transmitters. Sorry, my computer is going to lag a little bit. But we'll do, and then you do, we'll do differential pressure. That's the most common. You'll do EJX 110E, or EJX 110A, and then right here is the 2D, 3D configuration. Now on your other one, if we were to go back to the main page, actually we don't have to go back to the main page, 
it's going to be under customer portal. So there's a little bit, there's two different. So on the, when you go to look at the transmitters on the YCA, you're going to have to look that it's the 2D, 3D configuration, and then for support to go through it, it's going to be your customer portal. So there's just two different names, but it will both, it will take you to both sides. Um, this one, however, will take you, the reason that I like to do the long way is it directly takes you directly to the product that you're talking about. So for this site, though, you will do the login, and then you have to go through to actually do um, to find the site. So you'll the fastest way to do is go to products, hover over field instruments. Don't click, just hover, and um, you're going to press the 3D CAD or click on the 3D CAD, and you'll pull up to this site, and you're going to go to the configurator. And then you will click pressure or temperature transmitters. I'm going to go with pressure. Um, it does show the EJAA in this picture, but we will be updating this picture to delete that product, so that product won't be there. So you'll only get this EJAE and this EJXA. So we're going to go with EJX, and I'm going to go with my favorite, the differential pressure. Okay. So, as you can see, your full model code will be listed up here, up on your item number. Let's see, can I get can I, can I get a tool to be able to use it? Okay. Yeah, I can Okay. So this is a full model code right here. Um, so that's a full model code. Um, sorry, I'm playing. It's not playing, but I'm trying to. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, that I did not even need to do. Okay. Um, you want to do things all the time? Okay. So you have the item and the model number. Um, and then it tells you, and it, what it does is, this is based off the GS sheet. So you have your output signal, then you have your capsule, your wetted parts. Everything that you see in the GS sheet when you build a model code is kind of like it's structured. We structured it to be, um, we structured this page to be like the GS sheet. There are some things like you will always pick, when you pick the five, the process connection, it will automatically always change the other one, the high side or low side to four also. So that was just, we put some key features in, but I'm going to go ahead and show you um, the one thing, let's see, so we're going to do the, we're going to do the J, because that's most popular. Now, if this file is least to ask you if you want a five or a seven, which when you submit a PO, that's, you have to, this, decide what you want, either five or seven. So we'll do a seven because it's common. Okay. And it's loading. So, okay. So the most common invalid model code that we get is the L with S wetted parts. But as soon as you pick the L, as you can see, you cannot pick the S wetted parts. You can pick any other wetted parts, but you cannot pick the S. So that's wonderful because um, you don't, you're not having to go back to your customer or anything like that and be like, oh, no, you can't do that. You know right here, right then, now that you cannot use that. Um, so we'll go back and we just use common M capsule. I'm just going to flip it back to where I can use an S part, a wetted part. And then we're going to choose without a process connection. Um, and then we're going to just do a G, we're going to use a 9, we'll do a 1, we'll do a 2, um, we will do a digital indicator, um, we'll do a, we'll keep the mountain bracket, we'll keep the explosion proof approval, um, and then we'll pick, we'll don't, we're not going to do any painting, we're not going to do any, Really not, we're not going to do a lot of options. We'll pick the D, 
see one um, CSI unit. We'll do um, C1 output limits. We won't do any gold plated. And then let's see, what do we want to do? We'll go ahead and do CA. We'll do, um, oh. Won't do CA, but this is kind of set up. We're trying to set it up more as like what you would want to put in your for your PO. So when you have that CA, um, when you have that CA um, option added on your PO, you would want to put what would be in the descriptor and what would be in the message, and then what your soft software damping is. So this is another good feature where anything that you need um, that you would want to put on your PO, which that would be something you would want to put on, um, this helps you kind of set up your PO to be correct. Um, so we're, we're going to just take CA off and it takes it away. And then um, we're going to put a material cert on it. And then we'll just leave everything off. And then we're going to do view results. And it could take a minute because it is it is generating its own unique model, um, own unique 3D CAD. So it will take a minute to load. The site also um, it also gives you a brief little description of the differential pressure. Um, and as you can see right here, it has your 3D CAD model. It has your bracket, has no process connections, it has your um, housing. We are trying to get where um, an indicator would be. I know that um, we have had customers who have questioned about getting an indicator put on to um, the, just to show like a square or something to show that you can get an indicator. So this is a, this is a transmitter that has an indicator. Um, so you can, there's different sides, you can do a back view, and it tells, you, it tells you, like you're gonna do a bottom, then you do top view, and you have left, right, and then you have, of course, your front side, so you can move everything around. By the way, when you download this into your customer's inventor or AutoCAD or anything like that, this background should not be on your, uh, should not be this background. It should be just a blank screen. So um, we have yet to have any customer complain that it is that background. So. Um, and just letting you know, when you go to your 2D cell drawing, um, we have drawing units right here. And you can put pick either inches or millimeters. We're going to just stay in inches. Um, so we'll go ahead and do the 2D cell drawing. And this computer is new for me, so um, I have to go ahead and do the whole login. It will ask you this one time, and then you'll never have to get asked this again, and that's definitely not my address. That's definitely not my Sorry. Not working. Okay, here we go. There we go. Easily work email. Okay. So you put your zip code, what country you're in, what company you work for, your last name, your first name, and then your, um, email address and this gets sent to Japan. This doesn't get sent to us. We don't we don't know who um we know who Japan knows who and then they'll send us an updated list every month but um we don't get sent this so um unless a customer comes and asks us about us. So it's loading the two D sales drawing. Um 
it is non-certified. Um, if your customer wants um, us to, we can we can talk about certifying those drawings to where we sign them. But we do offer certified drawings uh, in the price book. So uh, as of right now, we are not certified in these drawings. Um, there is talk later on to see about using these as certified drawings, but as of right now, these are for only non-certified drawings. Uh, and this one takes a minute to always load. I always have problems with loading. It takes a minute. I think I saw while this takes a minute to um, load, I did see, I think, one of the reps asked if you could put a um, tag number or the um, go ahead and put a tag number. I will talk to um, the I will talk to Thomason and see if that we could could be an option. Um, I don't see where we couldn't. I see that we have a CA where we can put a description in Messenger, so I don't see why we couldn't put a tag number. So I will get with our um, product manager and um, and team and see if there's that's something if that's an option that we can provide, um, which I think is a good idea. So this generated a 2D cell drawing. As you can see, it's the 3D version, but or it's the 2D version of the 3D version. So um, you have your full model code down here. As as noted, drawing is not to scale. Dimensions are subject to change, and unit is um, in inches, in millimeters. And then you have your description. The model is a differential pressure transmitter. And then you have your dimensions, which I don't know if you can see it. But there are your dimensions. And then there's a little, there's descriptions on the side that you did pick a wetted part, so it's the S. You did pick a five, so there's no process connector. Um, the nine horizontal pipe. Um, you also have the half inch MBT female, two electrical connections without blind plugs. Um, now, if there are blind plugs, it will show that it's, a, I think, a Six millimeter inch difference between, and it will sh it will sh have a little plug right here. So um, there will be a plug, and then it has the of course the flat type mountain bracket, um, and then the U bolt. So um, that is a two D cell showing. So okay. So we're going to back on this. Let's see, I'm just going to cancel this. Okay. Now, um, you can at any point in time, you can update your user information if you want to. Um, you can. As I'm going to show, you can use different files. You can also these different inventors, solid edge, we accept almost anything. Um, if there's not a software on here that you see that you need, we can talk to the vendor and see if we can get it put it on to see if it would accept. You can email this to yourself and you can download this. Um, so we will um, do a D, and then there's also specifications, approvals, option specifications. So, I mean, it just has every little thing that you need. And then if you need to modify your configuration, please make sure you press modify configuration because if you don't and you hit the back button, it defaults everything back. So at any time that you need to change this model code, say that you need this to be an eight or something, please press modify configuration and not the back button. Also, if you want to request information, you can request information. What it will do is it will tell us the whole entire model code. You can attach any kind of files or anything, and then you can put all your information. So if your customer has any information about 
this and then their comment. They can send it. It gets sent to um, a support team and it also gets sent to Japan. But it gets sent, the main people on the on the team would be, um, I get sent the email, Tim Patterson gets sent the email, um, and anybody else who's on the team gets sent the email. So um, it does get sent to us. So if there is any questions, just send a request information in and we will answer it um, as quickly as possible. So um, that kind of concludes our presentation. If you guys have any questions, please send it to the, um, or put it in the chat or you can um, email. So you can email christina.near at us.yokogawa.com. You guys will actually be getting a copy of this recording as well as a copy of the PDF slides uh, by next week. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or Liz, and I'll make sure her contact information is in there as well. Okay. Thank you. Have Thank a good you. weekend. Thanks, y'all. Hi y'all, I know we were a little bit short. I just wanted to give everyone the chance if they have any questions to go ahead and um, ask questions. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to cancel out. I know um, someone had a question about the D1 is op um, option is optional, but they thought it was required. No, you do not have to get the D1. It's, um, some companies do require it on their um, on the transmitter because they, they like to see that it's the the maximum working pressure is of that unit, but the units do go out, some of the units do go out KPA. So if you do not select D1, D2, or D3, it will go out the standard unit that, that is on the GS sheet, um, which most of them are KPA or, you know, MPA or, um, I think maybe, no, I think most of them are KPA. So that is not a required unit, um, a required option, but you, a lot of people do get the D1. So. Um, and we will be looking to make sure if we can put a tag number. And then I know someone asked if there was dimensions on the drawings, which they are included um, on the scrub drawings. And if you guys have any more questions, we're just going to stay on for about two to three more minutes. And then if you have any questions, just send them in through the chat.